Welcome back, everybody. This is M Dog, and uh, we're playing a little Russian fishing four. Uh, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, this spot that we're fishing at now is a spot that I saw on VK, and I love these kind of spots because I think it can be really helpful for lower level, lower level players. Uh, maybe you've just unlocked Old Berg, and you are fishing for bream in the evenings as many folks do to try to earn the silver and continue to level up some uh, which that obviously can be a really good uh, strategy but what you need with that strategy is a plan for what you're going to do during the day and so little spots like this that pop up can be really helpful for that let's we'll see if there's a fish on here i think there is um, so I'll walk you through the different baits we're using. As you can see, it's a very nice bite rate, uh, at least through the morning time it has been. So we'll take a look at the baits and, uh, and all of that. But first, let me show you where we are. So we're in I-4. Uh, the coordinates are 70, 56, and I'm using a clip 7. This is from a uh, Russian player posted this on the VK site, if you're familiar with that. Um, so that is where this the idea for this spot came from. Uh, initially, I thought this was going to be a common roach farm. It actually has turned into a roach slash gibble carp farm, which is fine. Uh, here's we're getting into the later morning. Actually, some nice gibbles are coming out, as you can see. But let's go ahead and look and see what we've caught so far. We have been fishing here for about 14 minutes. And the largest fish have been these on the top line and so let's actually come back to that first let me show you what baits we're using i think i said this already we are at clip seven let me show you the setup we're using so in terms of leader strength so if you have leaders you know you may want to use something around this a little smaller would be fine too we've not come close to having a full leader or or you know in in danger of breaking our leader um, we are using common roach ground bait, so something you can make from level one. And we're using size 10 hooks. As long as the bite rate is good, I think this size is fine. Uh, if you want to increase the bite rate a little bit, if that seemed necessary, you could go down to maybe a 12. Um, but 10 seems to be working pretty well. I think we're focusing more on the size fish that we want to catch by having a little bit larger hook than you might normally use with roach at a low level. Um, but I do like how this is going. But let's talk about baits, because I think that is the other thing I like about, um, that I like about this spot right now. On the first rod, and I'm intentionally using three different baits. On the first rod, we're using bark beetle larva, one of the cheapest and most easily accessible baits. Uh, you don't even have to level up bait harvesting. This is just something you can purchase. Uh, as far as I know, it does not frequently go out of stock. Uh, so I, I would expect that at Mosquito Winding Old Berg, you should be able to get this. Remember, these are also included in the little bait box kit, um, which can be of good value if you are using a lot of the different worm type baits. Uh, the second bait we're using is pearl barley another very easy bait to acquire now this one does require you to level up your bait harvesting but very minimally uh, and this is something you should be doing your, your goal should be to unlock pearl barley at a very low level uh, as soon as you feel like you have the silver to put towards to leveling that up which means making lots of bread and potentially buying the shovel and doing lots of digging so you want to be doing those two things and then on the third one, we have caddisfly larva, which is another bait that you don't have to make. You can just purchase. Now this one, I'm not as confident that it's always in stock. I think it actually at the lower level lakes isn't always in stock, but it's worth checking. Um, but all three of these baits have been working. Um, if anything, I feel like the pearl barley and bark beetle larva have worked the best but um, all of them have been good. So let's go back to the ones we've caught and look at the largest fish we've caught just to see what it's been on. So the largest gibble thus far has been on bark beetle larva. The largest, largest roach has been on pearl barley. If you have pearl barley, I would be tempted to use pearl barley on all three. 
but it has been fun to use various baits. The second largest gibble is pearl barley and the second largest roach was on caddisfly. Let's continue this top row of, across bark beetle larva and finally bark beetle larva. So um, again, three, three baits that I very much like using, especially the pearl barley. Um, pearl barley and low level lakes with roach always is a good combination. And uh, this bait has been doing really well also the uh, bark beetle larva that was an evil evil roach let's don't pay attention to that um, but let's try something different on the third rod the caddisfly like i said could be the hardest bait for a low level player to get another thing you can try um, with roach obviously bloodworm caster both of those would be interesting regular worms would be interesting um, maggots could be good but one one bait that i don't I don't think gets enough credit with roaches and, and it may or may not work here in this spot, but that would be peas. Uh, another bait that anyone can purchase from the store. Um, I have used peas to farm roach on mosquito quite frequently, especially back in the day. I don't spend as much time on mosquito lately, but um, let's see if we can get a bite on the peas here. Uh, we're getting later in the day and the fish are getting smaller and smaller, which is what you expect. They should start to get uh, larger again and more consistent early morning and then late afternoon into the evening um, but let's see what we're getting on peas a lot of time peas will focus the roach now i think with baits like peas you start to run a little bit more of a risk if the common carp are are active i think but to be honest common carp could also go on pearl barley so uh, if they're here it's just something we may have to deal with on any of these baits. Um, common carp have gotten on worms before, so you can't avoid them. If they're here, they will occasionally uh, show up. But let's see if peas does catch a roach like I suspect it will. I, in my experience, peas does not catch the gibble and crucians as much. So it is sometimes a way to target roach. And I feel like, at least when it works at mosquito, peas can do a pretty good job to target the really big roach. All right, let's see what we got here. If this is a roach, it's a nice one. Yeah. So don't sleep on the peas when you're farming roach. But what I like about this, and we'll do this for just a couple more minutes. So right now we're at 20 minutes. We'll do this just for a couple more minutes, and then we'll go check out the cafe and, and see how much silver you, we, we've made. But what I really like about this is it's something that, even from a low level with starter equipment, you can fish a spot like this and make really decent silver over a 24 hour period. If you're fishing bream, which there's been some hot bream spots on Old Berg lately, you can not only get the one to 200 silver you're getting on bream during the overnight hours, but once it hits, you know, eight, 9 a.m., the bream starts slowing down, you're catching smaller and smaller bream. Just come, you know, at least make some more silver during the day by catching some decent sized roach gibbles and that kind of thing so i really like when spots like this are available um, which they always are I, I guess i should say i like when i know about spots like this so i can so i can share them because this is a really nice uh a nice way to spend the day while you're waiting on the next evening for bream now that's not the only option a lot of people recently i know have been catching pike during the day and then bream at night. That's another great combo when the pike are active like they have been lately here. Um, so there's lots of options, but don't forget about the common roach. The only downside to peas that I've noticed in the past at least is sometimes it can be a slower bite rate. And that may just be because, for the most part, you are only catching roach on them. Uh, here's another roach on pea. Compared to something like pearl barley or even like bark beetle larva, as you've seen, we're not only catching the roach, but we're also getting really nice gibbles occasionally. So, And that might be why it feels like it's a little slower. I really cannot tell a difference between bark beetle larva and pearl barley. They both seem to be doing great. And they are both, you know, readily available no matter what level you are.
All right, we're at that slow down spot. So this might be a good time to stop. I mean, really, once it hits, what is it? It's 1350 in the afternoon right now. Temperatures are really high. Once it hits back down to, I don't know, maybe around 1500, 1600, you should see the fish quality increase again really significantly. And then according to how far away your bream spot is, you probably want to start wrapping up here around 1920 so that you can definitely have your uh, bream setups in the water by like 2200 um, because that's when those consistent one kilo and up bream typically start coming in. So, uh, And then you'll do the whole overnight and then you just have to, based on how active the bream spot is, would sort of determine how long you want to stay the next morning before coming back to farm some more roach. Again, it's not something you have to do. It's just, I, I think it's a good strategy. Um, it's both efficient as well as fun because you've got a decent bite rate, hopefully on your bream spot. You've got a really nice bite rate. I mean, we're at 50 fish just about in 23 minutes. Um, and sure, these fish aren't worth a ton, but it does add up, especially if you, if you pair it with a nice bream spot. All right, so let's go see. Let's go see how we're doing here. And some of it is the the luck of hitting those cafe orders, but and I used to do this on Mosquito when I would do leveling series. Um, a lot of times, I would just find a really nice roach spot and farm that during the day. And then, uh, especially back at Old Mosquito, there were some Crucian Gibble spots for the evening hours. So instead of doing Bream at Mosquito, we would hit the Crucian Gibble spots and try to hit those trophies overnight and then go back to Roach during the day. And, and even at Mosquito, that equals a reasonable amount of silver, especially if you're low level. Uh, you can start purchasing that gear, that sort of next level gear you're saving for really, really quickly. Okay, so that's cool. You know, kind of sitting waiting for that trophy roach, and that is certainly a possibility in this spot. Um, here's a nice four silver cafe order. Two of the gibbles aren't even markers that we're able to turn in for that. And I think if we gave it some more time, even this evening possibly, we hit we could hit that uh, roach trophy, which would be really nice. So 72 silver, 76 with the cafe order. Uh, think about adding that to uh, what, whatever it is you made on your bream spot. And again, um, in that case, you're doing pretty well. It's a good, uh, it, it really is a good combo. So, all right. Well, this has been MDog. I am still planning on streaming this week. So starting tomorrow night, we'll hopefully get at least two or three nights in a row of some amount of RF4 streaming in. Um, and also just anxiously awaiting the next update on what content is going to look like moving forward but thanks for the support thanks for joining me i look forward to seeing you next time peace out and tight lines